Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is titled, Why You Should Probably Hire a Locksmith When You Want to uh, Get Into the Business of Rekeying Locks in Your Own Facility. Occasionally, I get calls from clients who want to order just a keying kit. So, that's an unusual thing to sell to somebody who is not a locksmith because it's a very specific tool. So when someone calls up and says that they'd like to order a keying kit, my first question is, oh, are you a locksmith? And most of the time I'll get a response to the effect, no, but I have some locks that I'd like to rekey. So I want to talk with you about why it's generally the best idea to hire a locksmith. Now, I've been keying locks for a long time. Uh, for a very long time actually and it's not a very difficult thing to learn how to do however what is totally involved in the process of keying locks is generally more uh, involved than just buying a keying kit a keying kit can range anywhere from less than a hundred dollars to a few hundred dollars for sure however it doesn't stop at needing uh, that it doesn't stop at you needing just simply a keying kit you need other tools as well, which are tools like a plug follower. Those are very common. Here's the plug follower that I use and I've been using for a long time. Locksmithing tweezers are very common items used by people. Some people use tweezers, some don't, that are in the business of locksmithing. You will need obviously blank keys, so you'd have to be buying blank keys to cut your own keys, generally. And then you'd most likely need some way of cutting keys. And that's really a more difficult endeavor to undertake. This is a blue punch machine by, by Prolock and is a very specific tool used for one sort of specific key job. And that sort of tool is typically well over $1,000. Sh uh, shy of all the tools alone, really the hardest part of acquiring the ability to rekey locks is the skill set necessary to do it. For, his, for every different lock manufacturer, they have several different series of locks. All of those locks are disassembled in a different way. And while the principles of locksmithing are fairly unique and fair, fairly universal, obtaining the skill set of learning how to specifically rekey the lock or locks that you have might prove to be something truly impossible to overcome unless you're in a business where learning how to key locks is required or you're going to take a local locksmithing class or possibly you're going to learn how to do it by watching online videos. The bottom line is this. If you have a couple of locks to rekey, take them to the local locksmith. And while I have found that lock shops generally charge an enormous amount of money to do this, that's easily justified by the fact that rekeying locks is how people that are locksmiths make a living. Acquiring that skill set is a very costly endeavor for them as it would be for anyone who needs to learn how to do it. My suggestion is that rather than trying to go through the process of acquiring all these tools, the several hundreds of dollar outlay and maybe well over a thousand, that you utilize the services of your local locksmith even if you have to pay for him to come out to your facility and do it. The call that I had earlier today was a gentleman who was in uh, engineering of a large facility, multiple uh, buildings, hundreds of doors. In that sort of scenario, and, and he's a building engineer, it's my opinion, it's my belief that he can certainly learn how to rekey the locks, maybe speaking to somebody like me over the telephone, which is unusual, I think it would be agreed to be able to find someone that you can talk to over the phone to tell you how to key locks. But it could also also be agreed, pardon me, it could also be agreed that learning how to locksmith or to re-key locks over the telephone is a non-starter and it's not something that should be considered even if you found somebody to walk you through the process. And granted there are online tutorials, online videos, you know, manufacturers catalogs give instructions uh, to get you part of the way there as well. And it is certainly very possible, even if you went the whole hog and bought all the tools necessary, the keying kit, all the hand tools, the plug follower, the tweezers, shims, key blanks, springs, drivers, the, the, the whole nine yards, and then learned how to rekey the specific lock that you needed to rekey. For instance, Quickset, 
the gentleman this morning, you'll need an additional tool just for removing the cylinder from a quick set lock. At least, uh, you know, the typical 400 series uh, locks by quick set. Um, and then all the other hand tools, screwdrivers and, you know, and, and other things that are unforeseen until you're in that position based on the lock that you're dealing with. So again, it's possible for the gentleman in that scenario with hundreds of doors and multiple buildings on a facility to learn how to do it because it's not, you know, the old saying is what we do is highly technical, but it's, it's not high tech. So it can be learned to be done. However, because of the amount of tools necessary and because the acquisition of the skill set to do so, and unless this is a guaranteed long-term scenario where you're going to learn how to key locks at no matter what and at all costs, and when I mean cost, I don't mean dollars necessarily, I mean frustration uh, in learning how to do it, um, and then also learning the back end of locksmithing like maintaining a bidding list and how bidding lists are generated, um, that you're really better served by calling in someone who makes a living as a locksmith. Uh, locksmiths are there for that purpose uh, you know and if it was so easy everybody would be a locksmith and the truth of the matter is it is not that easy I would be uh, very open to continuing this discussion with anyone who'd like to call again my name is Rich Howard I'm, own, I'm the owner of Architectural Builder Supply I've been keying locks since I was 15 uh, before I was able to drive and I'm proud of the fact that I learned how to do it at an early, at an early age however I'm also the fourth generation of my family to do this sort of work and at my disposal when I was 15, which is a very long time ago, I had my father, my uncles, my great uncles, my grandfather, and for that matter, my great grandfather, at my disposal, not that I could ask my great grandfather, but I had my father and my uncles at my disposal to help me get through a spot. So I was able to acquire the skill set because I had people literally around me, and cousins too, by the way that possess the skill and the knowledge of how it needs to, how it's done and how it needs to be done. Somebody who's a building engineer or, or, or much less a homeowner is not going to easily find resources, uh, access to those resources as I had. So keep all that in mind when you're considering buying a keying kit because it's just not going to end at buying a keying kit. Um, by all means give me a call if you feel free to uh, if you feel like uh, feel free to call me if you'd like to discuss this. I would uh, I would very much enjoy that. Thank you very much.